Welcome back to another episode of Psychosmos. Today we're going to go through the second principle of Hermeticism known as the principle of correspondence. If you like this video, make sure you comment and subscribe. Share with your friends, family, and loved ones, especially people who need some more motivation in their life. And share our channel around so that we can get more of this information out to the public. Also, if you haven't checked out some of the other previous videos, you're gonna wanna do that first, so please make sure to check out our Secrets of the Universe series. The principle of correspondence in Hermeticism is a very, very interesting and important one. And the reason is because correspondence essentially means, um, well, there's actually a statement for it. It's as above, so below. The principle of correspondence is very corollary to the principle of the macrocosm and the microcosm. One of the biggest proofs of correspondence is geometry. You can see it in everything. Uh, energy essentially works in a spiral-like formation. Um, you can look at it in a wave, you can look at it in uh, weather for a hurricane, you can look at it in the way that the Earth has its magnetic poles, you can look at it in the rotation of the planets around the sun. You can also look at it within ourselves because as we develop as a fetus within our, our mother's wombs, we actually are attached from our feet to our head and we're a circle. The planets are spheroids and not only that, but the zodiacal belt that we're locked in is also basically a bubble. We're in a little bubble as far as the universe goes. I mean, yes, it infinitely goes out, but we can only see 360 degrees around in a circle. It's infinite in space, but it's within a circular formation, at least from our perspective, 365 days of the year, one degree, basically. So you gotta look at it that way. Correspondence is the idea that no matter how small or how large something is, everything is essentially connected in the same way. So the same way that a, a bunch of cells move throughout our body is the same way that a bunch of people move throughout the planet. And if you want to think of uh, the Earth as like Mother Earth, or Gaia, or its own embodiment of, uh, of energy. It's not necessarily like a living, breathing thing in our concept of the way that we perceive it, but there is weather. Uh, certain rainforests die and other ones grow. Um, the, the planet has its own shifts of its own lifespan, and eventually one day, the Earth will die. And just like us, the Earth will die. And just like us, the universe could one day also potentially die. So that's what it means by correspondence. The same way that cells in your body die almost every single day, the same way that humans generally live to be 80 to 100 years old, the same way that a sun can supernova after thousands and thousands and thousands of years, it's the same type of concept. And all it really is talking about is energy. It, it, it's the correspondence of energy. As things happen out in the cosmos, and this is basically the largest theory about the principle of correspondence, as things happen in the cosmos, they affect the planet here. There's something called cosmic radiation theory, where if you believe in it, everything has its own energetic uh, aura. So just the way that the Earth has its own magnetic poles, uh, so does Mercury, Venus, uh, Saturn, the moon, the sun. Again, if you've watched our previous Secrets of the Universe videos, the sun and the moon do give you specific types of energies. I mean, we have concepts like, uh, you know, the, the werewolf coming out in the full moon. Uh, you can feel the energy from the sun. So those types of radiation, if you want to put it in scientific terms, definitely have some kind of impact on us. And it's why there are certain people who track planetary objects. Like, oh, Mercury is in retrograde. I might not be thinking clearly. Things like that. So the, the principle of correspondence is essentially that as things happen in the overworld, uh, the things that we don't really have uh, a lot of control of, they can also affect us in the, in the underworld as well. Think about it like this. If you're over the age of 21 and you drink alcohol, right? Your red blood cells in your body are not gonna have any impact or effect on you making the decision or choice to drink alcohol. You as the overseer, the big guy, the person in charge, are gonna take that shot or take that drink and your red blood cells subsequently are going to have to soak in that alcohol because of the way that your body works. So in that kind of sense, if you perceive us as the red blood cells, we can't control what happens in the universe. If an asteroid were to hit the moon, we wouldn't be able to really control that too, too much. I mean, maybe as technology advances, sure, we could get like a giant laser and shoot it, I don't know. But we wouldn't be able to impact that really right now. However, 
that happening, the asteroid hitting the moon, would definitely impact us as human beings. It would either send the moon off its course, the moon would explode, the, the moon maybe wouldn't even do anything because it would be so small, but some kind of minor significant thing like that, even if it was a tiny rock hitting into the moon, would impact us on this planet in some way, shape, or form. The, maybe there would be a tsunami out in another country. Maybe the animals would go freaking nuts. Who knows? The point is that as things happen above, so they happen below. Everything is a corresponding spiral, and that's the way that energy works. And with that, that is basically the principle of correspondence. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment down below on what you want to see. And uh, make sure you stay subscribed so you can see more of our uh, theory videos and more about our Seven Hermetic Principle videos and the Secrets of the Universe series as well. Also, make sure you spread this information with your friends and family and loved ones and anybody else who you feel might need motivation in their life. Uh, we're going to be making more videos like this very shortly, so stay tuned for more information. Thanks, guys. Make sure you take care, never give up, and always stay true to yourself. Thank you for watching.